Welcome to Israel, an ancient land that is sacred to millions of people all over this planet. It's early morning in the Gilboa region, and there's nothing quite like this breathtaking landscape. Two brave men, Denyata representing the 33 communities of Gilboa, and Kadua Musa representing the Arab Israeli community of Jenin, have for the past two years been working together to create peace through joint ventures in business and tourism. Today we'll be relishing the success in one of my favorite places, the kitchen, as Chef Shaul Ben Ederet of Gilboa and fellow Chef Mohammed Moshav Zouabi, an Arab Israeli from Nazareth, weave a tapestry of amazing cuisine that is uniquely Israel. So join me, Ashley James, in this historic land for another exciting adventure on cuisine culture. I'm Chef Ashley James. When I'm not catering to the demands of stars in LA, I'm touring the world cooking with culinary geniuses. Take your gourmet passport and learn how to cook like a master chef and eat like a celebrity. After my morning run, I'm ready for some breakfast. Hey, Ashley. Shao, hey. how are you? How are you? So great to see you. Yeah, welcome to the Gilboa Mountain. And this area called Spring Valley. So Look, it's beautiful. beautiful. This is my country. Uh, can you hear me? I'm out of breath. Yeah. I, I come running all the way up the hill. So we start with beautiful uh, tea, roses tea. Rose you will tea. enjoy, yeah. Very That's... strong, very aromatic. Wow. Rose tea. That. Oh, the smell, smell is amazing. Wow, the beautiful mountain air. Full atmosphere. I can hear something bubbling away yeah. here. So what I make for you a shakshuka. 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 Wow. Israel eat in the morning shakshuka. Shakshuka is tomato with onion, garlic, and eggs. Mm. You want to start to this eat? This is so good. Yeah. And listen to the make, crunch yeah, of this yeah. bread. You take like this. Thank you. And I take. Love spice. Yeah, but this is the way. Delicious. A run, the rose tea, the shashuka. And we continue. So this is different shashuka. It's a little bit French. The, sh and the like. shower touch. Yeah. yeah. So you have your spinach, onion, garlic, mm -hmm. cream, right. the egg, and kashkaval cheese. You get this from Italy? Import? No, 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 no. It's from here, from Israel. Great. Yeah. It's very aromatic cheese. Taste it. Okay, you, you show me if I'm, I'm doing it right. You are a good student. You're a good teacher. East and West. Mmm. So good. Wow. All I can say is, it's just as well I went running before, huh? I need to run another 200 kilometers. Okay, but delicious. You know, <laughs> some food is worth getting fat on. And this is definitely worth it. It is delicious. Yes. And um, what a great way to start the meal. And we have wonderful cheese. If you want to taste the kashkaval. But is this made locally here? Yeah, yeah, in yeah. Gilboa, in the Gilboa, in this area. If you want, I will take you and show you. I would love to see yeah. it. And you know what, Chao? I really want you. I want to learn how to make the, the shashuka. The shashuka. I really do. Yeah, no problem. You, you might, go to my kitchen. You might see it on the menu soon in uh, Beverly Hills. Yeah, oh. Huh? <laughs> Why not? No Thank problem. you so much. Okay. Cheers. Lechaim. 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 Now it's time to move into the kitchen where Chef Shaul shares his recipe for this delicious shashuka, a traditional Israeli dish that Shaul serves with a French twist. First, red onions are sautéed in butter until golden brown. Then add garlic, spinach, cream, salt and pepper, eggs, cascaval cheese, and finally, truffle oil. Let's do it. So what's the first step? We take a little bit of butter. A little bit of butter. Well, yeah. quite a lot of butter. A little bit. Is that a little yeah. bit of Israel? It's okay. If you want to make it healthy, don't use butter. Use olive oil. Some olive oil. Yeah, it's OK. It's no problem. Onion. Some onion. Yeah. White or uh, red? In this case, red. Yeah. 
smells good, the burger. Yeah. So we sewed it that up. A little bit. Golden brown. Golden brown. So okay. what is the next Garlic. Thing? Right. A little bit garlic. I like garlic when it's sliced. Everything I use with garlic. Yeah, that's... Even in the chocolate, I put garlic. No. Uh, no, I'm joking. No, no. <laughs> I joke. But I make some dessert with chocolate and I put pepper and chili a little bit. Chili and chocolate is great. Yeah. Yeah. It's become pretty popular recently. But it is something which is very ancient, you know, with chocolate and the Mexicans and yeah. chili. For many... No, now it's uh, the small world. Oh, for sure. Give me the spinach, the please. spinach, chiffonade, yeah. yeah. as they say in French, finely chopped. Yeah, yeah. So the butter here, is this butter local or...? From the north of Israel. From the north of Israel, yeah. But uh, it's more or less in this area. Give me the cream, please. The cream. Yeah. There we go. Cream inside. Shall I put all of this? No, 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 I tell you. How's that? Yeah. A little bit. Look nice. Looks good. Yeah. Pepper, salt, please. Okay. Shall I put this for you? Some pepper. Yum, I guess. Salt. Yeah, salt. <laughs> salt. Yeah. Some pepper. I like that. Nice, yeah. Yeah. So shall I break yeah, the eggs yeah. in? You are my guest and you right. make it. It's so how many eggs do we put in here? Yeah, two for me, two for you. There we go. Wonderful. That looks good. Pepper salt for, for, for the, the eggs. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit of the... Yeah. There we go. And a little bit more salt. Almost ready, almost, almost ready. Almost ready, almost wow. Ready. Now we take the cascaval cheese. The cascaval cheese. Yeah. And this is, is local cascaval, yeah, no? Yeah, yeah. Just, just like this? Yeah. Mm. Wow, <laughs> this is so good. 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 How's that, Chef? Hey, you're more, perfect. More cheese you're or? perfect. Enough, enough. It's enough. It's we, enough. we don't it's get enough. too cheesy. It's enough. Wow. Very nice. And that's going to help thicken the sauce a little bit as well, yeah. isn't it? This is nice. Beautiful. Mm. Okay. Smells good. Now it depends how you like the egg. I like mine sort of a little bit runny. Oh, yeah. so I close, them, I close the fire. Give me a little bit of uh, truffle oil. Oh, some truffle. Yeah. Okay, truffle some oil. truffle oil. A little bit for... For the eggs. To feel good, you know. To feel rich. To feel rich. To feel rich. <laughs> <laughs> Wealthy Israel, very yeah. rich. And you That's take good. it like this. You remember how to I eat it. I remember how you showed me. Not with but cup, not with spoon, huh? Only, only with like bread. this. But you know what, we don't have any bread, so I, I'm, I'm gonna try it all the same. Okay, it's, is it a break of tradition with the spoon? No, oh, it's, it's okay, okay, it's okay. Well, you know, the breakfast this morning was so good that I just had to learn how to make this. So thank you, you so it's much. Very easy. And as I said to you, I think this is gonna be on my menu soon, huh? Okay, I come to mm, taste, huh? So good. Mmm. You have to make this one at home. Perfect for breakfast. Good morning, Israel. Good morning, Israel. For our second recipe here at Chef Shal's world famous Kimar restaurant, he prepares a beet salad that tantalizes the senses. To begin, the beets are skinned and cut into cubes. Then add dried prunes, pistachio nuts, onions, fresh mint and coriander, or cilantro as we say. Add an amazing dressing of olive oil, fig honey, balsamic vinegar, and pomegranate concentrate. Mix them together and top it off with brulee and more goat's cheese. Oh, and by the way, there's one thing I forgot to mention about the beets. You don't need to cook it. Right. Usually people eat this cook, you know, in the oven. That's right. Boil it. Boil or like, it, steam yeah. oven. Fresh. Fresh. And you need to taste it, taste it. Like this, natural, it's like candies. Yeah. Hmm? These beets are exceptional. Yeah. I must say they're very, very sweet. Yeah. They're excellent. And I cut it in this way okay. because I want it to be crispy when you eat mm. it. Very good. So what okay. else do we need? Prunes. Prunes, yeah. okay. This is dry. Dried prunes, yeah. 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 So beets, prunes, pine nuts, pinones. Yeah, wonderful. They're good, really good. All right. Yes. That looks good already. Some red onion. A little bit. Okay. Mint. Some mint. Yeah. So we have mint and we have coriander. So beets, prunes, pine nuts, red onion, mint, coriander. So good. So what else? Now let's start to make the sauce. Okay, so the vinaigrette? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so what do we okay. need for the vinaigrette? We start with olive oil. All right. Is this olive oil local? Yeah. Yeah. So what else do we need? Pig's honey, very beautiful. 
Oh, I need to try that too. Yeah, you know me. Yeah. I always this, want... is, this is for you. This I, is for you. I always want to try the components. This is for oh, you. Yeah. But no, no, no. With your hand. Like okay. This. Not so sweet. No. A very deep taste. And it has like a after vanilla taste too. Yeah. It's delicious. Yeah. I cook with this a lot. That's great. I'm just gonna go and wash my hands quickly. Okay. <laughs> so obviously the fig trees are next to the beehives, so it gives it a good flavor. Yeah. Delicious. And is this ba balsamic? Regular balsamic yeah, vanilla, yeah. yeah. It's not from Israel. From Italy. Yeah, but you use, uh, you know, uh, even regular vinegar. Yeah, for it's sure. It's also nice. Yeah. yeah. And the last one, pomegranate. Pomegranate concentrate. Yeah, and yeah. you know, very popular in this part of the world, pomegranate. Yeah, yeah. No? in Israel, yeah. Shower, I, I just love those ingredients. I mean, pomegranate, balsamic, great olive oil, and the fig yeah, honey. You know, I need the only pepper and salt. Pepper and salt. Salt, salt and pepper. Shall I go with that? Yeah. Salt. What do you reckon? That's good, Chef? Enough, thank Enough. you. Some pepper. Pepper. I think with that's this sauce good. you can use, you know, with lettuce salad or everything, it's nice. It's great. Yeah. This is the sauce. Mm. Do you like it? Nice sweetness, okay. nice acidity. Okay. Very, very good. So? So I'm gonna grab a spoon and I'm gonna help you Mix that up. Yeah. That looks so good. So yummy, huh? Yeah. Some of my favorite ingredients. And the last one. We take beautiful Saint Mo cheese. Saint Mo goat cheese. Yeah. So this uh, is French cheese, yeah. But right. we make it here. We make it here in the Gilboa, yeah. So very local again. Yeah, 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 yeah. And those cheeses you let me try this morning at breakfast. Wonderful, huh? They were amazing, mm -hmm. amazing. You know, before something around 15 years or 20 years, people go out to Italy, to France, or like this, they bring the suitcase cheese and like that. Not anymore, huh? Not anymore, we Why? don't need it. Oh, we have sure. very nice things That's, here, you know? I mean, just look at that. We take brown sugar. Okay, to make brulee. Yeah, yeah. Like a creme brulee. Yeah. Wow, there we go. Enough. And nice, there we go. It's gonna take the chill off the cheese. Yeah. Sweetness with goat cheese is so good. And this cheese is strong. It's very good. Yeah. Now it's garnish time. Oh. Look yeah. at the color. It's delicious. I'm sure it's gonna work beautifully with the goat yeah. cheese. So four pieces of cheese. That is amazing. Really great. Wait a second. Uh, you know this Nigo lips? Micro herbs. Micro, yeah. yeah. Basil, coriander. Basil, coriander. Egg choy. Bak choy. Wow, I've never seen that before in micro. Yeah. And this is beet tops? Yeah. Micro yeah. beet. You choose. And I think, you know, Beautiful. I just love, love, yeah. love, love cilantro. Oh, okay. Or coriander, as you say here oh, okay. in Israel. How's that, chef? Is that good? Nice, very nice. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Okay. Coriander, the beets. Yeah. Delicious. Can I try it? It's your salad. That looks really good. Mm. So good. Thank you. So, Charles, you know what? It's pretty warm in the kitchen. It's 100 degrees outside. I think before you show me the uh, entree or the main course, I'm going to go for a swim in the pool. Swimming pool? Yeah, why not? I have a nice idea for you. We are in the ski area. Ski? No. Yeah. Beautiful thing. I don't believe this, but show it to Come me, please. Job. Okay, right. Can you believe it? It's nearly 100 degrees. And look at this, a ski slope? Wow. Here I am with Danny, the head of council for the beautiful Gilboa region. Danny. Hello. Shalom. And Sigal, the spokes lady as well. Good to have Shalom. You here. It's great to be here. And what a surprise with this ski slope, I must say. Yeah. So, Danny, tell me about this exciting project that you have for tourism. So what we're trying to do here is create a new reality for Jews and Arabs from both sides the Palestinian side in Jenin and the Israeli side in Gilboa, of course. And uh, we're doing it through tourism and economic projects. And and also, of course, through the kitchen, through the very unique taste here in Israel. 
Eugene is a great place. Important people like Tony Blair are helping us yes. and Janine do this very important project and it's a, a new model and a new reality here in the Middle East. It's, it's, a, so it's a great project yeah. and I want to say thank you to you both for sharing your beautiful you region much. with me and with Cuisine Culture. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. The beauty of this land is inescapable and as it turns out, way more than skin deep. One of the perks of traveling the world is that every now and then, you'll find yourself standing in history. And not just vague echoes in plaster or canvas, but rather a living, breathing experience. A history that's alive. Here I am at the Bet Alpha Synagogue at the foot of the Gilboa Mountains with Maurice, who is the tour guide, to explain a little bit about this amazing ancient synagogue. Actually, this uh, synagogue uh, built 1,400 years ago. Wow. We have many of those. I can see the zodiac sign. I'm a yes. little bit surprised. Why the zodiac sign here? It's a million dollar question, actually. Yeah. This is the menorah and the holy ark. This synagogue represents the temple in Jerusalem. Right, so there's a lot of emblems of the Jewish religion yes. here. This land is just oozing with energy and history. But thank you, Maurice. Welcome. Have a good trip Welcome. in Israel. Thank you so much. For the main course, Chef Shao will be preparing a hearty serving of marrow stuffed with mint steak, pistachio nuts, coriander, and of course, bone marrow. One on three quart, you need to cut it. Okay, so sort of like chopped up, yeah. finely? Yeah. Great. And you're taking out the uh, yeah. bone marrow. Yeah. We don't, need to, we don't need to use all this. Right. We use half of this. It's so good bone marrow, I love yeah, it. Yeah. Mix together. Okay. I Shall need a little bit spinach. A little bit of spinach. There we go. Yeah. This is enough. Great. So, so that, that spinach, you're gonna just roughly chop it up. Yeah. Great. Do we also need to uh, chop up the bone marrow as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So good. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we mix it together here yeah. on the board. Yeah. What could be simpler? Yeah. The beef. Salt, salt, pepper a little bit. It's for the salt. A little bit, thank That's you. That's good, not too much. We yeah. don't want to raise the blood pressure yeah, too much, do we, yeah. no? Yeah. Okay. A, a little bit pistachio. Pistachio. Inside. Pistachio inside. That is amazing. Okay. Mix together. You can mix it by hand, by okay. hand. Okay, like I'm going to get my hands yeah. in now. So delicious. Beautiful. You know what? I would never have thought of putting pistachios in there. But that's great. All of the delicious um, bone yeah, marrow. Yes. Now I put everything inside. In, okay, back inside. Yeah, you see? Can I have a go? Yeah, yeah, so you, yeah. Like so. Yeah, but you need to. Make sure it's... Yeah. Wow, it's coming out the other end. Yeah. <laughs> so that's good. Is that okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. okay. So, so, make us two meatballs. Make two, make two little two meatballs. Meatball. Yeah. Okay, and we'll put that, uh, we'll put we'll that put, to cook yeah. with it. This is for the chef, no? Yeah. One for me. And one for, one for me, one for me. <laughs> one for, one for you. <laughs> there we go. Beautiful. Delicious. Beautiful. A little pistachio on the top. Give some added crunch. Yeah. That, that looks really great, shall we? Yeah, it's nice. Delicious. I would have never imagined this when I was working in Bordeaux 20 years ago, pistachio and bone marrow. I dream about it in the night. Good, yeah. good. Okay. That's usually where all good recipes start, in dreams. Five minutes, 200 degrees to the oven. Okay, so 200 degrees Celsius, yeah. that's a hot oven, for five minutes. Yeah. Well, That's all. I go so, to the so that comes out nice medium rare. Yeah. Charles, what else do we need? Let's make some fresh, healthy salad. So okay. what are we gonna put? Okay. We take coriander. Right. Mint. Parsley as well. Okay. Italian parsley, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Israeli parsley. We call Israeli. Israeli parsley. Okay. You want to help me? Of course, I'm gonna help okay. you. So Just are we gonna place, like small. a chiffonade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Small, okay. Small. How's that, Charlie? Is that good? Very, very nice, yeah. Okay, so this how's is that? Is that good? Very nice, very Great. nice. Great, so let's put this back in the bowl. Yeah. It smells so yeah. good. Beautiful, beautiful. Great. Okay, I need fresh lemon now. 
a little bit onion. Red onion. So how much lemon? Hot. Okay. Wow. More, more, more lemon. All right. Nice. I put another half. Pine nuts. Or lemon. Yeah. It's okay. It's good. Juicy the lemon. Yeah. Salt, pepper. Some pepper. Good. Olive oil. A little bit of olive oil. Good. A little bit more, don't be ashamed. Okay, very, very right. Nice. This is all the story. This is all the story. That simplicity, but such great flavors. You taste it? Parsley, mint, cilantro, pine nuts, red onion, lemon juice, olive oil. And I'm going to grab a spoon because I want to try it right now. Mmm. Alive. Fresh. Healthy, fresh. Citrus, crunchy. The beautiful herb flavors. We're going to take the bone marrow now. This is the present for you. Okay, thank you. Are we finishing the dish or here you are? I'm going to give you a bit of salad on top. Thank that? you. Us chefs, we're always eating in the kitchen, huh? Ah! Mmm. Mmm? Very good. Mmm. Delicious. So delicious. And how many of these are we going to use? I think four pieces. Four? So that means I can eat two? Yeah. Okay, right. So just do one, two, three, four, yeah? One, two, three. Should I put this big one in? Is it going to fit? That is so beautiful. beautiful. And the way to eat it, right. with this cup. That looks so great. It really does. The finale. The finale. finale. So what is the finale? This is pure tahina. Tahina. I think the majority of us know it as a tahina. Wow. So good. That looks good. Okay. Can I try it? That really is one amazing dish. Beautiful. You know what? I'm certainly going back home with three great recipes, huh? That's for sure. Breakfast, delicious salad as an appetizer, or maybe a lunch. And this, mmm. So, so good. Mmm. Wow. Five minutes dish, that's all. Chick chak. We call it chick chak. That's right. Quickly, quickly. That means quickly in yeah. Hebrew. Yeah. So great. Well, thank you so much. You know what? I don't know if you knew, but I am crazy about this serve. I have a surprise for you. My friend yeah? from Nazareth is Israeli uh, Arab. From Nazareth, yeah. 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 He will come and we cook together knafe. Okay. Moshraf, yes. how are you? Thank you very Ashley. much. Ashley, shalom. 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 For our dessert, Chef Shaul invited his close friend and fellow chef Mohammed Moshraf Zwabi, an Arab Israeli from a neighboring town, to prepare us a traditional Arabic dessert called kanafe. Shaul was our translator, but as it turns out, when it comes to cooking, I could understand Moshraf just fine. The primary ingredients are butter, a noodle-like dough called kadaif, brown sugar, and goat cheese, which has been soaked in water to get rid of its saltiness. We begin with butter, then add the kadaif. Very light. We're going to cover the pan with the dough. It's sticky a little bit, so you need to open them. Exactly. Chef Moshrap spreads out the kadaif to keep it light and fluffy. Then adds more butter, and then goat cheese. He then adds another layer of kadaif. Once the bottom layer is lightly browned, the butter is drained from the pan and the kadaif is flipped over. So of course, if you're doing this at home, be very careful. I would recommend that you cover your hand with a cloth. To prepare the sauce, first mix one cup of brown sugar with an equal amount of water, then add lemon and verbena. When the sauce is ready, spoon it over the kanafe. Finally, add pistachios. And voila. Mmm. It's excellent. Thank you so much. Good knafe. Good company. 
Perfect. So chefs, what can I say is, thank you so much for sharing your beautiful region of Gilboa with me. I feel very, very specially honored. This is Ashley James and a very, very special edition of Cuisine Culture here in Israel. Thank you so much to you both. And what can I say? You just have to come and you have to try these recipes at home. Okay? So thank you. Shukran. <laughs> thank you. Hello, sir. Shalom. For recipes, tips, and information about today's program, visit us online at www.cuisineculture.tv. As it turns out, Chow took me to visit the goat cheese farm. It was amazing. And the cheese, oh, just so good. Can I try some cheese? Yes. Mmm, the smell in here is so, so good. This is the hard work people, huh? Yes, I bring the... Lots of this is not factory that comes, sure. you know. Cheers or cheese? Lechaim. 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 Lechaim.